first dish I'm going to make for you today is marinated hamachi. Hamachi is a Japanese fish, kind of, I would say, similar to a swordfish. Um, in SDK, we have uh, what we call a raw bar, so we work on ceviches and uh, sashimis and various raw fish. So, this was a great dish that we added onto it. Basically, we dice the hamachi and then we add fresh lime zest, lime juice, chili, a little bit of lemongrass, and we mix that all together. We season it quite well so the flavours come through delicately. So we then make the wasabi mayonnaise. Uh, we make our own mayonnaise in-house and we just use fresh wasabi in there as well and add a little bit of lime just to cut it, otherwise you get that really heavy flavour from the wasabi. And then we take baby poached pears and all we've done is we've poached them in stock syrup with some star anise, vanilla and cinnamon and it just we serve the whole baby poached pear on the side and it just adds that extra texture to the dish. To plate that we use a black slate, um, it contrasts the colours really really well. We just lightly oil the slate then we build a hamachi within a ring. Um, if you didn't want to use a ring, you could just use a spoon and build it into a slight dome. Um, we put three points of the wasabi mayonnaise onto the slate, and then we just take the poached pear out of the syrup and we just sit it on there as its own. The next dish I will cook is our 400 gram sirloin. It's USDA prime beef. Only a small percentage of USDA beef is actually prime and we serve it here in London. Um, we butter the steak, then we season it really heavily and then we bar mark it on the grill just to get the char flavour on there. One of our core things within STK is we use a broiler like they do in the US and that gives the crust on the steak so we place it under the broiler. Depending on the cooking time of what you want it, cooking temperature, um, probably about five to eight minutes under the broiler and then we let it rest for about five minutes. We take it out. If the guest requests, we will slice the steak because they may share it at the table. And then we serve it with one of our key sauces, which is our STK sauce. And unfortunately, I can't give you that recipe because it's a secret to us. Within STK, our plating of the steaks is very simple. So it's either just sliced and it's just served with a sauce on the side. And then we would serve it with one of our sides that you could order from the menu. The dessert I'm going to make for you today is we call it the taste of the fairground. The idea with the desserts in STK is they're all about fun. They're inventive, but traditional too. So what I want to do is create something that uh, people can share um, on a table, a table of two or even more. And I want to give those flavors of the childhood. Food always evokes memories. So what we did is we created six areas of this. We have apple donuts, toffee apples, marshmallows, and we have varying flavors of the marshmallows, and we change those. So we have coconut, bubble gum, and Coca-Cola at the moment. We do salt caramel popcorn. We do a warm chocolate malt shake, and we do candy floss. We make our own candy floss in the house as well, or fairy floss, whichever country you're in at the time. The idea with this, um, we created this stand. Uh, we purchased this stand. So the idea, it kind of looked like a Ferris wheel. Um, how you plate it really generally is up to you, but again, there's an element of simplicity. When it comes to the table, it speaks for itself. You see the faces and how many people take pictures of it anyway. Okay, the six elements of this um, dish is, we do salted caramel popcorn, we do apple sugar donuts, we do marshmallows with three flavors. We do coconut, bubble gum, and Coca-Cola. We do the caramel malt shake, do little baby toffee apples and apple pie candy floss. <laughs>